Hello and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Aaron Porras here with the latest news from Israel. Former Israeli Defense Minister and Labor Party member Benjamin Fuad Ben Eliezer passed away today at the age of 80. Born in Iraq, Ben Eliezer immigrated to Israel in 1950 and joined the Israeli Defense Forces four years later. He served 30 years in the IDF, retiring at the rank of Brigadier General in 1984. Immediately after his military service, Ben Eliezer started his political career. He later joined the Labor Party and was appointed by then Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin as Minister of Construction and Housing. He was the first Israeli minister ever to meet with PLO chief Yasser Arafat and was known to allegedly have great personal relations with Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak. Ben Eliezer went on to serve in many more positions of the Israeli government and was at one point a candidate for the presidency. Two weeks ago, he was rushed to Asaf Harofe Hospital, where he later succumbed to heart disease. Israel mourns the loss of this great man. Public opinion polls conducted by the Arab World Institute for Research and Development indicate that Hamas-affiliated lists will triumph in the upcoming Palestinian Authority's elections. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas is reportedly being urged to cancel the upcoming elections on October 8th, over fear that the PA could lose to Hamas. According to the polls, Fatah is expected to receive 34% of the parliament seats in Judea and Samaria, tied with Hamas at 33. 9% of the vote is expected to go to independent parties, and 4% to other Islamic organizations. 60% of PA voters said that they will participate in the elections, and 66 believe that the election will be clean and fair. Only 21% believe that the elections will lead to a reconciliation between Fatah and Hamas, while 46% insist on the opposite. An Israeli activist who supports the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against Israel has claimed refugee status in Canada. Gilad Paz landed at Montreal Airport three weeks ago after traveling from Tel Aviv and immediately requested political asylum. Paz told a Canadian asylum officer that he is a BDS and human rights activist. A self-employed lawyer, Paz fled Israel because he said that he has been politically persecuted. Israel's consul general in Montreal, Ziv Nevokulman, called Paz's claims preposterous adding, there is no persecution in Israel whatsoever. That's ridiculous. Israel is a country of human rights, democracy, and freedom of expression. The Canadian authorities know this very well, and we have faith that they have dealt with the false claim accordingly. According to Paz, he decided to leave Israel after Public Security Minister Gilad Erdan and Interior Minister Arya Deri formed a government task force to prevent the entry of foreign BDS supporters and deport those who have already entered the Jewish state. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Aaron Porras, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. <laughs>